Hello friends, this is Deepak from Epiteria. In this example, we are going to learn how to create video splash screen in your Android app. Instead of creating a conventional splash screen with images, we can create a dynamic splash screen with videos. So let's see how to do this. So I'm using Android Studio 2.2.3. I'll create a new project. I'll name it as video splash example. Next, I'll keep API 15, empty activity. Next, and here I will name this as splash activity. I'll finish. First, I will add view video view on my activity. Before that, I convert my layout type from relative layout to a linear layout. I need to set the orientation. I'll set the orientation to vertical. Also, I will remove all the paddings from my activity, and I'll set the gravity to center. Now, this gravity means position of child inside this view so that position of the child will be center then delete this text view and I'll drag and drop a video view on this now in this video view we'll say width wrap content and height match parent and the position is center. You also set the background property of this uh, linear layout to white because my video background is of white color so the remaining space where video view is not uh, showing the background so we need, we need to set this background color to white so that will look like a part of the video will look like a part of that activity. Set. Now you will also need to add a, pro a video in your project so for that right click on your RES folder and add new directory and name the folder as raw you need to add a directory with name raw all your video files will be placed must be placed inside this raw folder now you can simply copy your video and paste it on your folder so now it has added that video.mp for file into my project so make sure you are using a, a, a video with some low file size so it should not increase the size of your apk fine now in your code we will we'll first we need to declare an object of a video view so i will create a video view object then uh, now as this is a splash screen we, we, we need to make sure that this is a full screen this will be visible full screen to the user so for that we need to set the flag and in this we need to pass video manager dot layout parameters dot flag is equal to full screen now with this single line of code we are making our activity as a full screen activity but this will uh, even after adding this line it will make sure uh, it will make our activity full screen but it will also show the action bar as we are extending from an activity called as app compare activity so to remove the action bar you need to write this code that is gets support action bar and you need to call the hide method so this will hide your action bar Fine, now our activity is full screen with no title and then we will create initialize our video view object r dot id dot dot video view so video view is id of our this video tag video view tag 
we have initialized our video then we will require a, uh, you need to create the object of a URI this URI is a URL or reference to your video which we have just added into the uh, raw folder so I will import class for URI I will say video is equal to URI dot parts now this parts means we are going to convert this string into the URI so we are calling pass method and in this you need to write android dot resources android dot resource colon slash slash now this will find this object uh, this will this is the prefix by which this URI identifies that this resource is coming this file is coming from the android port resources that means from your project resources and then I'll give a URL that is get package name so this is package name of your apps and then I will will say r dot sorry we need to add a slash plus resource ID that is r dot raw dot <coughs> r dot raw dot video that's it now this is the URL for our a video which we have added into our raw folder then we will set video view dot set video URI and in this we will pass the object of the URI that's it now it will start playing the video but in this, uh, in this splash screen we want to make sure that after completion of the video uh, where video will end we must redirect user to our main activity or other activity so for that we need to uh, write a video view dot set on complete on completion listener so this is a listener which we need to handle to redirect user to other activity when video playing is completed or video is ended right now in this we will redirect user to another activity so before that we need to add one more activity in our project so i'll say new activity empty activity and keep name as main activity and now here uh, okay after adding this click listener we'll also need to start the video so i'll say video not start so this will start playing the video and now about the redirecting so here i'll say on completion i'll say start activity new intent and in this we need to pass the intent of a slash screen activity comma main activity dot class right and after this we need to call the finish method cause uh, we don't want to show this activity again so if user is redire redirected to main activity and if there he press the back button we don't want to show the splash screen again so that's why we are calling this finish method method which will destroy this activity well, that's it now that's it we'll see we'll run the project again So here is the output you can see the video is playing on my more splash screen and after that it is redirect me to the main activity so thank you for watching guys hope this video will help you subscribe our channel for more videos like this don't forget to click on the bell sign to subscribe our uh, subscribe our channel and get the notification of the videos uh, you can download this project uh, from the description link which is mentioned in the description box of this video Thank you.